Bassie's Learning Lab. Hey friends, it's Bassie. Welcome back to Bassie's Learning Lab. Today, as you can see with my hard hat, I am at a construction site. I'm helping my friend build a fence. Today, we're going to learn all about tallies. And we're going to learn also about numerals and word form and how to represent numbers. <gasps> I'm so excited. Then we have a really fun puzzle activity and I need your help. Come on, let's get to it. All right, so my friend, Mr. Raptor is here to help us learn all about tally form. So one way to represent numbers are using tallies. Can you say it with me? Tallies. Mm -hmm. Now, tallies is kind of almost like building a fence and I'll show you. So the important thing about tallies is that it organizes information to put it in kind of groups of quantities, okay? So if that seems a little scary, take a deep breath. We'll walk you through it. So to learn about tallies, we're gonna build a fence. So my friend here wants to build a fence. So at the beginning, he's gonna use one little tally stick. We're gonna use popsicle sticks. So he's gonna start off with one tally and he's gonna pew, 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 hammer it in. Okay, that helps us represent the number one. All right, now, for number two, to represent that number, the number two, using tally form, he's going to make another line. So that represents the number two. Now he's getting up there. We're going to represent the number three. So to do so, he's going to put one other stick right there. Number three. Pew, pew. You'll notice that for the one little extra addition that we're adding, right, an extra number after, you do one more tally. So if there are four fingers, each finger is going to get a stick. One, two, three, and I'm missing one more stick. Number four. So to, in order to represent four fingers, I need four tally sticks. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, now this is where it gets really fun. For the fifth stick, if I have five fingers and I want to represent that there are five fingers, I'm talking about five fingers, there should be five tally sticks. But what's really cool about number five is my, fun, it's the, my favorite, is you close the gate. So you count one, two, three, four, close. Which means that in order to close the gate, we put it across. So practice with me. One straight tally, two straight tallies, three, four straight tallies, and the fifth tally goes across just like that. This will help you remember. One, two, three, four, across. One, two, three, four, across. So every time you have five quantities of something, you have to do that fifth one across. I'll show you what I mean. All right, now we want to represent six fingers. We already have five. We're going to add one more. So to this next tally stick, we start again. A new fence. Pew, 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 pew. All right, well, how do we represent if we have seven? Seven. The number seven. Seven fingers. Do another one again. Straight line. Pew, 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 pew. Mm, what about the number eight? Well, as you see on my fingers, this is already a group of five. So we already have it here. So do we still have a group of five? No. So we have a group of three. So it's five, six, seven, eight. That eighth one is still a straight part of the fence. All right. Now we're getting to number nine. Hmm, we have one full group of five. Is this a full group of five? No, there's only four sticking up. So this one still goes straight. Pew, 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 pew. All right, now we want to represent the number 10. How many groups of five are there? We know that one hand of mine has five fingers. So this is one group of five, and this is a second group of five. So we have the number 10. The 10 has two groups of five, which means that this next tally stick goes one, two, three, four, five, across. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> yes, we should have two fully formed fences. One, two, three, four, across. Whoa, there you go. 
Now, this is very helpful, especially if you have large groups of numbers that you want to represent. Instead of counting them individually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you now group them in groups of five. So if you're at skip counting, this is really cool because now you can skip count by five. Five, ten, and there you go. Notice how that took a lot shorter than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so cool. All right, so to review how to draw these numbers, I'm going to show you with this little song using my friend Dinosaur. Are you ready? Hey, Mr. Dinosaur, have you any wood? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't have any wood. Take a look. It's zero. These are the numerals. These are in number form. Yeah. So zero means he has no wood today. All right, I'm going to ask him again next day. Hey, Mr. Dinosaur, have you any wood? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have one piece of wood. All right, let's do the tally. One. All right, let's do it again. Let's ask him again next day. Hey, Mr. Dinosaur, have you any wood? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have two pieces of wood. Oh, let's do the tally for two. One two oh, cool now day number three all right hey mr dinosaur have you any wood yes i do yes i do i have three pieces of wood oh three straight lines one two three oh, whoa so cool hey mr dinosaur have you any wood yes i do yes i do i have four pieces of wood count with me one two three four <gasps> let's ask him again hey mr dinosaur have you any wood yes i do yes i do i have five pieces of wood <gasps> but remember that fifth one is special okay let's do it first with our hands okay one two three four I'll cross for five, you remembered. Let's do it with our pens. One, two, three, four, I'll cross. Yes, yes, you can do it with me. One, two, three, four, across. All right, let's ask him now. Hey, Mr. Dinosaur, have you any wood? Yes, I do, yes, I do. I have six pieces of wood. Oh, number six. Do it with me. You can do it in your in the air with your finger. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, wow, look at how they look like. All right, how about seven? Oh, hey, Mr. Dinosaur, have you any wood? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have seven pieces of wood. Oh, let's draw that. One, two, three, four. Across five, six, seven. Oh. Ready? Hey, Mr. Dinosaur, have you any wood? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have eight pieces of wood. Whoa, that's a lot. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five across, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're almost there, friends. Almost there. Hey, Mr. Dinosaur, have you any wood? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have nine pieces of wood. Number nine. My goodness. Look, it's the number nine. Let's do it together. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Across for five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's do it again. I... Mr. Dinosaur, have you any wood? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have 10 pieces of wood. Oh, I need your help for this one. Ready? One, two, three, four. Across five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Across for 10. Oh, we did it. Take a look at that. Look at your hard work. Aren't you proud of yourself? You definitely should be. Well done. Whew, that was a lot of learning, but I think we're ready. I think we're ready for our mystery puzzle. So right here, I have all of the puzzle pieces, but if I get them, 
move them away. How many do I have showing right here? Zero. There's nothing. There's no puzzle pieces. So that's very important. Now, we're going to start building our puzzle. I'm going to show you some options and you're going to tell me which one do I put next. All right, let's start with the first number. Hmm. Let's start with these. Which one of these should go first? Hmm. You have the number form in the middle or here on the side. You have the word form and you have the tally form to represent the same number. All right, which one should go first? Good job. You said four, one, or is it ten? Number one. Yes, we already said number zero. So we're on number one. What should come next? I wonder. These are our options. We have the number seven, two, or is it the number 10? One, two, good one. The number two goes beside the number one, just like that. Whoa, we're getting some more friends. All right, let's see. I'm gonna give you two options this time. Should it be, mm, so we have one, two, what's the next number? Is it the number th or E, three? Or is it the number S, E, V, N, seven? Yeah, I focus on the word form on that one. Yeah, the number three. Way to go. Oh, when we finished one row. Good job. We're going to go to the second row. So under that, after the number three, is it the number? I'll give you three options now. Or is it the number, numeral number nine, numeral number six, or is it the numeral number four? Hmm. Ah. There's no tricking you. It's the number four. Well done. So let's do it again. One, two, three, four. And which one should it be? Should it be the number five? Because we know that it has one, one, two, three, four across. Or should it be the one that has, not only does it close the gate, but it has one extra fence piece. So it's the number six is it the number five or the six mm, it's the number five good one and guess what the second option was already in our head it's the number six now we're gonna count just to make sure we're doing okay one two three four five six ah Ooh. all right i'm gonna try to trick you see if i can all right Hmm. So in these two cases, there is one group of five in each of these numbers, but there's some extra, you know, fence pieces beside it. So if this one, it's a five, six, seven, seven fence pieces. This one has five, six, seven, eight, nine. So notice how I didn't have to count from the number one because I knew automatically I'm going to start counting away from the five because I know that's a group of five. That's the important thing about tallies. Mm -hmm. It helps you count quicker. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it the nine or the seven that comes after six? Uh, seven, seven, seven. You are paying attention. Whew. Good learning. All right, let's see. All right, after seven, is it the number N or is it eight? Eight. Ooh, okay, you need a little bit of help. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good work. Eight. We're almost there. My goodness, we only have two puzzle pieces left, friend. Whoa. After eight. Hmm. So I can see that this has five, a group of five, and then it has three. Mm -hmm. So it would make sense that if you add one more to the next number, you add one more piece to the end. So it has three on the side. This one has five and this one has four. Mm. Well, yeah, after eight, if you add one more, you have one extra little line fence piece. So it's the number nine after eight. Now after nine, well, you have four on the nine. So you have a closed gate and a number four. Try to hide this one. <laughs> but for the next number, you have two closed gates. And to have two closed gates, 
it's the number 10. That's the next number. Uh, and guess what? Just like that, you counted all the way to the number 10 using tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> You're missing something. Ugh, what am I missing? You're missing two puzzle pieces. One and two extra puzzle pieces. Now, if you're really good with tallies, I hope this challenges you a little bit. He's sleeping, don't you worry. <laughs> All right, so we have two extra puzzle pieces. Which ones comes first? Is it the num after the number 10, is it 12 or is it 11? Oops, remember 10 has two closed gates. So now you're looking for two closed gates with one puzzle, one fence piece. Hmm. Oh, well, this one has two extra fence pieces. <gasps> Look, this one only has one lonely. So it's five plus five is 10 plus one is 11. This one goes beside the 10. And last but not least, reasoning tells me there's only one puzzle piece for one missing piece here so i'm gonna put it together and now now we're officially done we're all done the puzzle pieces so we're gonna do a drum roll which is just tapping lightly on something it could be maybe on your thighs on your legs on the ground lightly you could clap i'm gonna do it on my desk the mystery puzzle is up Take a look, it's a bear. A bear that apparently is a really good baker. I see some little cakes, pancakes. Ugh, I could go also for some pancakes. Hot chocolate oh, with marshmallows, whipped cream. I see cups and he has his little stand. Oh, it must be cold because I see the clue of a scarf. <gasps> look at that. Look, through counting together, we made a beautiful puzzle of a bear who is a great baker and a great friend because he's sharing his treats. Well, I really hope you had a lot of fun. I sure did. And thank you so much for helping me. And I can't wait for our next adventures together. Bye.